I know my wife, if she's gonna have to sleep that close to me, she used to a king, uh, she's gonna have to be comfortable. So we're gonna be looking at the sleep number beds. that we've decided we're gonna do is this bed oh yeah I don't think my back can handle that so uh, and uh, I know my wife she's gonna have to sleep that close to me she used to a king uh, she's gonna have to be comfortable so we've been looking at the sleep number beds and I think they're gonna work out okay uh, one of the things I noticed is these beds that come with the Airstream are rounded on the corners and they're flat on that end so we'll we'll see what that takes away in space. It may be a couple inches there, but it shouldn't be too bad. Um, but yeah, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna measure this bed real quick and I'll share with you the measurements and we'll uh, go online in a little bit and see uh, what they have as far as options for replacing your your bed. Uh, we're not gonna do anything fancy as like tilt-ups or anything like that, although that would be nice and maybe, maybe an upgrade for later on. Uh, but uh, the bed does have a lot of storage under it right now see that and so uh, I think if we if we did a tilt-up bed I wouldn't have that extra storage there so uh, we like the storage with as little storage as we have in this thing and so uh, so we're gonna go ahead and just replace the mattress and uh, hopefully you won't get too heavy of a mattress that we, uh, we can't uh, deal with. now I can see the end of that mattress there so, uh, obviously I don't need to be exact. The measurements will probably be very similar online, but, uh, so somewhere around 75 inches, which is, or 76, it's not longer than 76, but somewhere between 75 and 76, probably about right. And, uh, like I said, I'll find out online what they have, but should be here, uh, by, yeah, 50, 59. And we can also just measure this right here so we know we're not wider than that. So I'll come around. Gosh, you guys can see me a little better. I'll do it this side. So uh, the distance I have between these two walls here is right at uh, 60, 62 and a half inches. So that's about five feet wide. So as long, I think that's probably what it is. It's going to be about five feet wide by 72-ish. One more measurement there. Measure twice. So no, 76. Yeah, so anything uh, under that should be fine. I guess it might be good to know uh, how far the wood is back. Yeah, so the wood is actually sitting, yeah, about four inches under that. So the wood's probably about 72 inches. So we definitely don't want it shorter than 72. Uh, all right, that, that's your measurement. So 72 by 60 inches for your bed. Um, while I'm at it, might as well just, uh, I guess, measure these other beds in case we ever want to replace them. They're a little bit more tricky. I don't have great lighting back here, so. But uh, this one rounds on this side. And these measurements are probably on Airstream site, but I don't know. So I'll just make sure. So that one's, uh, yeah, I'm getting about 55 inches there. Now, once again, it curves on the back there, so it's not a square bed. You could never do a square bed here. That's uh, 77 inches there, but but if you come all the way back to the the corner here, uh, you get a di totally different uh, distance from this corner. So I, I'm not even going to actually worry about that one. And the same thing on the top. I, I'm not going to try to find a replacement that's not directly advertising a replacement for this bed. Uh, so forget that. Maybe I'll erase this part of the video. Anyways, we're excited about our new Airstream. It's all clean right now. We'll see how long that lasts when we get uh, three boys in here. <laughs> Alright, talk to you later. If you like the video, hit subscribe. And hit the thumbs up button too. Thanks for the comment.